Break on that beat, going crazy. Welcome aboard KCC Bear TV. If you're still new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new episode in my Life C series adventure. Now for today's video, I am going to show you what are the things that a duty officer do when they are in port during loading and discharging operations. As a third officer, you need to help the master in preparing all the port documents necessary for the next port of call. This agent will be the one to send all the required documents that will be needed in the next port of call. All you need to do is to prepare all the necessary port papers such as the crew list, maritime health declaration, garbage declaration, career effects declaration, and many others. So as a third officer, we need to make sure that all of our LSA and FFA equipment are in good operational condition prior arrival to our loading or discharging port. Arrival in the port, you also need to inform your chief officer that all your LSA and FFA equipment are ready for emergency use. So by the way, our duty will be in the cargo control room. There, we are going to assist the chief officer with the loading and the ballasting operation. Thorough check will be done prior loading as per the pre-loading checklist to ensure that all items are complied with. Cargo lineups will be checked both on deck and in the cargo control room by the duty officer, the pumpman, and the chief officer. Once the chief officer is satisfied that all preparations have been made following the cargo oil loading plan, the vessel is now ready for loading. The shore facility will advise the vessel that they are also ready to load the cargo and that the vessel's manifold are to be opened. Please open manifold 1, 2, and 3. The initial maximum on topping off loading rates will be as per the agreed in the key meeting. The designated cargo tanks are to be checked manually and to be cross-checked in the cargo control room to ensure that the cargo is passing in the cargo lines. Once vessel confirms that she is receiving cargo, she will then advise the terminal to increase the rate to maximum with her maximum cargo tanks open. Terminal, this rate is confirmed. We are receiving cargo. Please increase your rate to maximum. The cargo manifolds are to be manned at all times from initial stage until the completion of the cargo to check for any back pressure and oil leaks. Please confirm manifold is okay. No sign of leaks. Please check. Deck watch should also check for oil leaks on deck, oversides, and in the pump room during the entire cargo operation. In the cargo control room, duty officers calculate hourly loading rates and monitors vessel stresses as per the loading plan of chief officer and to follow the chief officer's night standing order. The ballasting is also done concurrent to loading operation. And as a duty officer, it is our responsibility to ensure that everything is compliant as per the shipshore safety checklist and other international regulation. And prior to taking over the watch from the outgoing officer, we need to do a safety rounds on deck. That is to ensure 
sure that all items stated in our shipshore safety checklist are complied with. That includes our gangway and manifold being manned at all times, scuppers are all plugged, our moorings and fireworks are regularly tended, and there are no spills on deck. Also, deck wash has to do a regular fire safety and security rounds on deck, on pump room, and on the accommodation. So I have to keep a record of that in our pump room and CCR book. And by the way, I am very happy to announce that I have found friends in the vlogging community. And they are also seafarers like me. So if you haven't subscribed to their channel yet, please subscribe, tap the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever they post a new video. Safe travels to all of us. God bless us all.